Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Sam and this is the S33 Electrical Channel. Today we're doing a video looking at a board we made with different types of conduit straps and I wanted to share with you guys and I think this could be beneficial to people who are just starting out and um, so I just want to share and show you what, what we did. We built this board for the purpose of if you get a box of material from a job that's left over and you get a strap and you're not sure like what kind of strap it is um, you can use this to quickly identify it um, so something I wanted to do it also helped me uh, getting organized here but yeah so we're gonna we're just gonna go through each kind of strap and hopefully there's some value in this video it helps people out we'll start with the EMT strap and it starts here with the 3 8 which is for your MC wire. It goes up half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, two inch. Beyond that, there's two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Um, but those types of straps are a bit uncommon if you're running uh, like a big conduit like that. Um, anyhow, it doesn't matter. We're, we're just going through this for the beginners here. This is an EMT strap, it's one hole. You see how it has one spot there for the strap. On this side is your rigid straps or HW, which I assume means heavy weight. I've always thought it to be heavy weight, um, but I haven't um, definitely concern, confirmed that. Or if there's a someone knows it to be something different, let me know in a comment. I'd be interested to hear that. So anyway, you have your one hole EMT, one hole rigid. Um, in the middle here, we have our what is called a conduit hanger or a sling would be like a standoff strap or an SOS and these straps are a little bit different because you have your half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half um, it doesn't go necessarily in that order they do what's called a trade size so at the very bottom you have trade size zero which would be for a half inch EMT or a half inch rigid it goes zero, one, trade size one, trade size two so so on and so forth and um, you got to be careful because like on your trade size zero that's good for your half inch rigid or EMT but as you get up in the bigger numbers you got to look at what it is because you might have one that's for um, inch and a quarter rigid but inch and a half EMT so I think that's why they did the trade size and uh, you know just a important note there so if you're ordering material you want you want to pay attention to that um, but yeah, so it's a little bit, a little bit complicated there in that way. But you know, it's basically your uh, half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, depending on what it is. Like I said, you gotta, you gotta look at it. But those are known as uh, standoff straps, um, SOS, conduit hanger. And then over here we have our two hole straps, and it's the same, similar to the one hole straps. You have your your EMTs and then also your rigids and your heavyweights and uh, the only difference is, is instead of having a strap or a uh, fastener hole on one side you got it on two sides and that's why we call it a two hole um, so pretty pretty basic EMT rigid EMT rigid um, and these are your most common straps other than that I don't have it on the board but you have your unit stretch straps or that's for your Kendorf and um, if you haven't seen these yet, I'm sure you will soon out there in the field because they're common. And those just go in a in an order from half inch to three quarter, one inch, so on and so forth. And um, on the Kendorfs, uh, if you want to get technical, they have different gauges, the thickness of the steel. Um, so you can something that you might consider. It's pretty pretty standard though. I think. Uh, I don't know if it's like a 12 gauge or whatever, but um, if it's a three-quarter rigid or unistretch strap, then it's good for three-quarter rigid or EMT. You don't have to worry about that too much. Standard size, half inch, three-quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, and up. And that's basically it. There are some other types of straps that um, are a specialty that you can get into, like that Caddy makes, Caddy straps, and... Uh, there's other straps out there, but these are your most common in general. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. It's pretty neat. It's something that I always wanted to do and understand better. Um, have some kind of tool to identify and, and look at when you're 
sorting through a box of material. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you found this uh, helpful and you want to see more videos like this where we can talk about certain things like applications like EMT and we can look at the fittings or PVC and look at the fittings, something like that. Um, you want to see more videos like that, give me a thumbs up, let me know. And that way I know that um, it's having an impact and um, we can do more videos like this. So until next time, um, that's, that's it. So peace.